starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself, Atishama Meet, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Computernetic Zone, for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about fiber optic cable or optical fiber. So let's start and discuss our topic in detail. So what actually is an opt as is an optical fiber and or how you can define optical fiber? Optical fiber is a you know wire that is made up of glass or plastic, and here the light here the signals um, travel in the form of light. So if someone asks you that what actually is an optical fiber and uh, how what kind of signals are there? Uh, so you can simply say that it is made up of glass or plastic and here the signals travel in the form of light so there are three elements core elements of optical fiber that are glass core cladding and coating so you can see here these are the three elements of the optical fiber here the first one is a core second is here you can see concentric uh, you know layer this is called cladding and the third one we have is a coat so these are the three basic elements of optical fiber so here we will discuss each of these elements in detail the first one is a glass core glass core is an innermost part of a cable it is a very narrow uh, fiber strand as thin as you may hear that is used to transmit light so you can see here this is an innermost part of that uh, wire so here the, the signals that is in the form of light will enter into enter in from this um, side so this is the innermost part that is called core and here the purpose is simple and straightforward that the light the signals will enter into from this uh, portion so second one is a cladding cladding is uh, surrounded by the concentric concentric layer it's called cladding so what is the role of cladding Cladding basically reduces light scattering, right? And it is used to keep the reflection of light. So here you can see when the lights, when the signals enter in the form of light, so there is a great chance that that when this when the signal will travel here, it may strikes, it may strike, and then it will it, it can be reflected. So it, from from this position, from here, from there. So it can be reflected from here and there. So in order to reduce that reflection of light or reflection of the signals, the cladding is there. So cladding purpose is to, you know, to, to stop the signals from the reflection. So if reflection, if, if reflection occurs, then there will be a great, great data loss. So this is where the optical fiber is the latest technology and this data and the data rate uh, is very high. And data loss is it is very very low so this is because of the cladding so cladding is a role the, the simple role of the cladding is to uh, to to reduce the reflection of the signals or light so third part is coat or coating now the cladding you can see here this is enclosed by the outer layer which is called coating so it is used to provide an extra protection of the glass core and cladding so the simple role is the core role is to to protect cladding and core so this is a simple role of the coat that it is used to protect cladding and core so we have studied three elements the first one is a core through which the signals enters in the form of light then here is a second layer which is called cladding. The cladding role is to protect or to reduce um, the signals, inter signals from reflection. Fine. And the third one is a coat. Its role is to protect core and cladding. So what are the advantages of optical fiber? Optical fiber, as you as we all know that it is the latest technology. Uh, that we used and um, the advantage is because um, it's a latest technology and data rate is very very high is because of the high bandwidth so it, instead of copper wires the bandwidth of 
the optical fiber is very very high so th so this is why the internet speeds uh, internet speed uh, through optical fiber is very high as compared to the traditional wires so less power loss is an, another advantage of optical fiber it is a resistance for electromagnetic interference so these are the um, electromagnetic waves uh, you know may have effect on uh, your uh, data so this is where uh, it is used it has a great tremendous um, resistance for electromagnetic interference so the installation of um, optical fiber is very very easy and uh, it is easy because of this less weight so you can see that it is becoming more popular because uh, nowadays um, we can see the telephone internet and television companies uh, are replacing the existing copper existing uh, wires or resisting cables so that especially the copper wires um, in, uh, and replacing them with an optical fiber cable so this is why because the data transmission speed is very very high and um, why data transmission speed is high if someone asks you that why data rate or why bandwidth is high as compared uh, of optical fiber is high as compared to the copper wires so this is a very simple and uh, conceptual question that why um, data rate is very very high in optical fiber this is because of the optical because this is because um, it uses light uh, to transmit data and in the cladding role is there the to protect uh, light from uh, from reflection so this is where data is saved so data loss is very very low this is why the bandwidth bandwidth is high and data rate is extremely high too so apart from uh, we have so many advantages um, but few of uh, that uh, then we have already discussed now there are some disadvantages as well uh, of the optical fiber it is uh, cost effective installation um, the installation uh, you know is, is it is there and uh, it is a bit costly as well uh, fine uh, so this is one of the uh, as I said before that is the latest technology and the data rate is high so definitely it is uh, uh, costly as well so it's, it's, it's installation is a bit costly and so people some few people may not afford that uh, installation so special test equipment is required for optical fiber testing the simple existing cables testing is quite easy but here in this case optical fiber we need a special equipment uh, in order to test uh, the optical fiber in case of any error in case of any issue so the third one we have is and the disadvantage is, is that these are compact and highly vulnerable while fitting so these are very compact cables and uh, highly vulnerable uh, vulnerable while fitting so sometimes it may break down because of um, this compact nature uh, while fitting uh, while fitting so this is all what we have discussed today is uh, optical fiber which is the latest technology and um, so i'm just summarizing it in in a, f in a few seconds and that it is a uh, you know like the latest technology optical fiber is the latest technology that is used nowadays and many companies telephone companies internet companies they are replacing the existing copper wise uh, to the and they are shifted uh, towards the optical fiber because uh, because um, data rate is very high and data rate is high because it uses light to transmit data we have discussed uh, three basic elements of the optical fiber and uh, that we have discussed before uh, so these elements are core cladding and uh, and coat core through core the light enters and through cladding you it use it uh, used to protect uh, the reflection of light then we have is a coating its purpose is to protect uh, core and cladding so that's all for today if you like this video you can share it if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a great day